Hello and welcome my friends to a new lesson with Controway. In this lesson we will know what is the most useful data type for PLC programmers. As a PLC programmer you have to deal with a lot of signals. Each type of these signals needs special type of data types. So for example, if you are dealing with push buttons, you can use the boolean data type because only you have two uh, values. So it's uh, false or true, zero or one. And if you are measuring temperature or you are measuring pressure, you can deal with what we called integer or real value if you want the decimal point. But if you have more complex objects, something like a motor, like a tank, like a mixer, here you can define, like, like for example, for only one motor, I can have a lot of values. I can have a lot of variables like temperature, speed, the control mode, is it local or remote, the state, is it re ready or running, faulted, the set speed, the maximum speed, the actual speed, and the command, I can give it like start, stop, and reset. So for this, for only one motor, let's assume that we have about 20 motors. For each one of these motors, I should have temperature, local or, or remote, the state and set speed, max speed. The question is, if I define this value, like temperature, as an integer value, so we define the motor one, temperature, as an integer value, and I have 20 motors. So motor 2 If I have around 20 motors or 30 motors I should update it 20 times If I want to convert this integer instead of integer I want it to be real so why we don't make something more simple which is we make a package we make a special type of data and this type will include all these variables and we give it a name as motor or motor udt motor udt and i make copies of this data type first one the second one the third one 20 times if i want if i need to update anything inside this data type it will be updated automatically we will know how to do this in the program in tia uh, portal okay so user defined data type this is the solution this is the most useful data type because you can create your own data type and it will include a lot of variables you group them together and any update will be updated automatically to all the variables like to all the motors to all the mixers okay so in this lesson we will know how to create udt in tia portal in the next lesson, we will know how to connect it with inputs and outputs, how to use it in data blocks, function blocks and functions, how to make it global, and how to connect it with faceplates in SCADA systems. So let's open the project. So this is the project we had. To create a data type, we can, from here, PLC data type under the project tree, go to plc data type add new data type to name this data type rename it as motor udt or udt motor so here we have we can add the variables we need the first one is 
the state it will be structure state and this state we have three options which is running and ready faulted this is the state and we have command it will be also a structure and we have also here start command stop and reset we have temperature it should be integer or you can define it as real and speed actual speed max speed set speed you can define it as you want so here you can choose which data type you need so let's make it simple this will be enough in uh, for our example and now you have a data type if you have a data block here let's add a data block inside this data block motors inside this data block I can define a new type like motor1 UDT motor so now I have all those variables inside this motor motor2 there is no need to write it for each motor and if I need to update anything I can update it directly from here I need to update this temperature to real value so let's update it here it will ask you to update also I can update the interface now it will be real value so in the next lesson we will know how to use it more how to connect it with face plates how to use it and connect it with inputs and outputs and make a global data blocks sorry data types see you in the next lesson goodbye